<laughs> you said you the face of the best league in the world? That is a lie. Uh -huh. The face of the best league in the world is in front of you. And he, he is, is a lie. lie. I am a lie. <laughs> I am a lie. Oh, yeah. so broke out. When the fight broke out, you was the only person missing it. Falling on stage can be worse than dipping is. Mm -mm. Boy was stuck at the door like it was child proof. Birth certificate. Perfect, isn't it? Child Dog popping. Battle rock was the wrong option. Soon as you start problems, your heart's stopping. Catch him looking at his reflection. Put his face through the glass while his broad watching. Come on, man. She looked down and see pieces of marinara like a sauce topping. <laughs> Show up where he lived and start knocking. Metal will clap, 12 to the back. John stopped it. What? If me and you start boxing, your jaw drop. I will knock Felix to Trinidad, but no Hopkins. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know what it is, man. So you to the subscribers, that notification game, etc., etc. Don't let that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Shout out to my brother SP. You know what we do here. Happy New Year and all that and all of that. And everybody who watches this content, whether religiously or in passing, you know what I'm saying? We're always trying to bring you news and things that's going on in battle rap. And I really didn't even think I was going to blog today. I'm going to be honest with you because I was chilling. I didn't really see nothing much going on. And at the top of my YouTube feed was Tay Rock versus Feeble, right? And I've seen Feeble in some other battles before. He battled Geechee Gotti. Uh, it's a whole eye battle thing. You know, eye battle been coming up. I just recapped CJA versus Rum Nitty. It was just a little quick recap yesterday. And now I'm here again today recapping another eye battle battle. That lets you know that eye battle is doing what the fuck they need to do. You know what I'm saying? I've seen Lex in the past, you know what I'm saying? Whether he... Pushing his league, doing the things that he's do. He even be critical of media sometimes, feeling like, you know, media only gravitates towards some of the big shit. But, you know, the big shit pay the bills. I ain't even gonna, I ain't even gonna hold you. You know what I'm saying? Chill don't pay the bills. You know what I'm saying? So, that's where a lot of the news be with the bigger battles. But the thing is, what I battle is doing now, they having battles that are making you talk about them. You know what I'm saying? Once you put out, and now I'm not gonna, they've been doing this for a while. First of all, don't anybody take this any way in slight because I'm shouting y'all niggas out and I see what you're doing. Um... But now they got battles where new guys are battling against like veterans, established veterans, and the established veterans are actually bringing their A game. I just seen Nitty with three rounds of fire. I seen Geechee with round. Rock just battled this one right here. And bro, when I'm telling you that they are actually bringing their A game, I don't know. And see, the thing is, and I tell, because there's a lot of leagues that's in play right now. I'm be honest with you. Um, with the success of 2023 in battle rap. And I'm gonna get, you know, I get to recap, but come on, let me walk y'all in, man. You know what I'm saying? Happy New Year. What we do here? Like, let's talk. You know what I mean, like, I got, some, I got a couple seconds today. So, a lot of leagues seen what was going on in 2023. You know what I'm saying? The rise of Chrome 23, the success of Max Out. You know what I'm saying? Certain leagues want to wait until obviously a new year is here. So, you're gonna see more leagues get into play. Because a lot of people are trying to catch on and get these events and get these names and get these things going, you know what I'm saying, for 2024. So, with that being said, you now see UW. UW is back in the fold. They just announced Geechee Gotti and they announced that Tay Rock is going to be on the card. You know, a lot of people want to know. You know, Arsenal been sending the information. People been putting it out. We've been talking about it. I don't really know the card. I would like to know it. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want it to just be a bunch of big names versus a bunch of people we never heard of. Then if that's the case, then it's like, ah, they, a lot of people are doing that. But if he's coming back with a crazy, a real card, like Rock is announced on there, Geechee's announced on there, will this nigga announce easy? Could he get easy for Rock? Or could he get easy for himself? Easy! I don't give a fuck about what's going on out there, bro. That shit ain't got, I, I don't care, my nigga. We still want to see you rap. Tell this nigga, Gutter City, who, who's, who's around this nigga? Get this motherfucker and tell him we still want to hear him rap. I don't care about none of that shit that niggas is talking about. I've been heard it anyway, and I don't give a fuck. I want rap. I'm here for battle rap, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, everything else means nothing to me. So I want to see niggas rap. Sorry, selfish as it may be. So, and I'm sure a lot of the fans want to just see rap. We don't care. Storylines is cool, but we want to see niggas rap. Arsenal's bringing back UW. So Arsenal's bringing back UW. Who is he bringing back? He already got two of the biggest names in battle rap on the card. If he goes in, if he could secure an easy versus any one of them, I'm going to get you. Let's leave that alone. That already happened. It's a new year. 
Um, but if he could secure him versus Rock or versus himself, this nigga could start off the year with some crazy shit. And Arsenal, one thing I do say is he got relationships in battle rap. When Arsenal reaches out, there's a certain level of respect for certain MCs and the things that they do. And we know U-Dub had mad classics on there. I could run through fucking 10 battles on U-Dub that was amazing. They had, uh, they had them Loaded Lux. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They had the Loaded Lux and Hollow, Hollow. I'm glad that he make it. It's just too bad he won't make it. You know what I'm saying? They had that joint on there. They had a lot of other joints. The Cal and Surf. And I could just, man, come on, son. You dub had some shit. Ars and Lux. You know what I'm saying? Uh, fucking uh, Rex and um and O Red. Like, come on, son. It was mad battles on you dub back in the days. I know a lot of y'all niggas are still young here, but we from here, but we get done here. So to see you dub come back, you want to see what Arsenal has in the fold. So. Tay Rock, and then what I'm saying with these leagues is, a lot of leagues is seeing what the what the what last year did, and they want to get involved. A lot of people gonna be trying to throw cards. A lot of people gonna be having shit going on. But what where I battle is doing great to lead back to the story is the battles that they putting together are making sense, and the MCs that they're pushing are showing up against big names that are trying. Like I go, I watch a lot of these leagues. <laughs> now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I watch a lot of battle rap, you know what I'm saying? To, to be doing what we do and all of that, I think that it requires watching a lot of battle rap. I see a lot of these leagues have names versus their guys, and their guys, we're skipping their rounds to get to the, 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 the established person's rounds. I'm sorry. These guys, some of them are just not good enough. It just is what it is. But every single battle that I've been watching from I Battle in recent memory, the person who they're pushing or the new guy has stepped up. And that means something. The opera, he be wildin', Feeble wildin', CJA wildin'. It's mad cats over there that's doing their thing. So for me, in my position, I talk about it. With all that being said, you know, sometimes when you walk in, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you know, you gotta like tell a story before you get to the ass whooping. You know what I'm saying? That was the prelude. Your mamas, your mamas ain't do that shit. She was tell your, your daddy tell you all this good shit. And then he got to whoop your ass feeble. This is what time it is. So, you battle against Tay Rock. And I must say, phenomenal one-rounder. Great battle. Your round, it, you did what you needed to do. You had some moments in there. You had some punches in there, some setups. The flow was there. You showed a lot of promise. But I don't know what... <laughs> Boy, this nigga Tay Rock went fucking crazy, man. I didn't even expect this, you know what I'm saying, in a one round joint. A lot of people be trying to get rock flat, you know what I'm saying, that oh, he battles a lot of new guys, things like that. He do, because at the end of the day, chill don't pay the bills, you know what I'm saying? If he's not getting the names, the bigger names and shit like that, you're going to tell me I can show up on a random weekend, get a couple racks to just wrap around and do my thing. Who wouldn't do that? A lot of motherfuckers go to work every day that if they could do that, that's what they'd be doing. Trust me, they would. You know what I mean? Like, you ain't got to fucking go work in no factory and shit like that. So don't, I don't really trip when they be like rock battles too much. So what? He's getting, he's getting his bread and he's doing his thing. He showed up in this battle on a fucking mission. Like that one round by him is probably, I know the year is new, but that one round right there is going to be talked about. A lot of people are going to see the shit. Like he was in such a crazy pocket, man. I did get a couple notes from both MCs just to show love. You know what I'm saying? Fibu, um, he had uh, he had the um, the one bar where he said, "The you the face of the biggest league in the world. That is a lie. The face of the biggest league in the world is in front of you, and he is alive. You know what I'm saying? And he did the he, like he was taking some of Rock's older schemes and bars and reutilizing them. But he had a lot of other you know what I'm saying heavy heavy punches in the battle too. Uh, and I like I like his little slogan at the end. IP address. I'm the one that brought URL to my house." I like that, you know what I'm saying? You brought URL. Are you the one that brought URL to iBattle? I thought that that was a fun out of the joint. Um, but and yeah, first of all, make sure y'all go check the battle. It's on iBattle right now. I pinned the battle at the top of the comments and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And this blog is really about Rock being on UW. You know what I'm saying? He's starting up his year on UW. We want to know who he's battling against. We're going to see how that go. Regardless of who he battled, he's going to bring smoke. Is it easy? I think it's easy. Do y'all think it's easy? Fuck it, I'ma just say I think it's easy. That's just what it is. I think it's could. Arsenal is a mutual site. He's a mutual site where this battle could happen. We were saying it can't happen on URL. They were saying it can't happen on trenches. Arsenal, get the shit done. You got the bread right? Do you niggas got the bread to get it done? I think y'all can get it done. The pay-per-view alone. The pay-per-view alone be a motherfucker. 
Y'all niggas better get together, get that battle done. That could be a crazy way to start the year. Is it easy versus rock? Arsenal, I need to know. You text me the other shit earlier, I put it out. Let me know. Gang, gang. Um, so rock comes out of his round. Uh, for you to take this elbow, it's gonna cost the arm and a leg. Then he said something like, throw the girl through the glass. Pieces of the mirror nearer, no, throw you through the glass. Uh, pieces of the mirror nearer, like sauce topping. Pieces of the mirror nearer. That was kind of fire, I ain't gonna hold you. Then he had another one, uh, the dog pop in the 12 in the back, John Stockton. I will knock Felix to Trinidad, Bernard Hopkins. What? Yo, I was like, yo. <clears throat> When he start, why he start rapping like that? It's still early in the motherfucking year. He said, I will not, because his name is Felix. I will knock Felix to Trinidad. Bernard Hopkins, crazy. Um, he said, you know, um, his slogan is, you don't know me. I don't want to. I thought that that was fire. Uh, he said, uh, <laughs> he said, he said, the stick, when you see it, you got to pay. It's a hidden fee. Uh, I'm too giant for fee five four fum. Uh, Rambo with the chopper, Sylvester Stallone. Then he had the AMG flow. What rhymes with Feeble? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, man. That's, that shit was crazy, bro. Uh, and then he had to cut your mother tongue out. We speak in Creole. What rhymes with Feebo? If this battle was three rounds, it'd be a 3 0. This nigga just started wilding on the whole AMG shit. Uh, he said, cut your mother tongue out. We speak in Creole. I will have you walking home barefoot whining. Pino Grigio, I said, oh no, why am I having to write raps this early in the motherfucking year? Right, what is going on? Why are you feeling, why, what did this nigga do to you? I just want to know, can somebody explain to me what did this nigga do to you? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, come on, son. So, uh, ain't you a Mexican Christian? I'm about to send you to Jesus Christ. Uh, he said, left fee on the windshield, it's a parking ticket. Oh my God, man, it was motherfuckers. Leave him alone! Leave him alone! You see what's going on here? So I got Rock clearly winning. Damn near nuclear. Feeble, if your round wasn't as good as it was, Feebo, 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 yeah. Feebo, if, if, your, if, your, if your round wasn't as good as it was, I would've had your ass getting bodied. But I got Rock winning pretty clear. Uh, you gonna do your thing and I know, you know what I'm saying, you, you, you fire, I liked your round and shit, you had some moments, but I don't think nobody would have you winning that. No, I mean, because you, you caught the right person on, you caught the right motherfucker on the wrong day. That shit happens sometimes, you know what I'm saying? This shit builds character. I think that, uh, you know, you, you them, them, the motherfuckers around you, the, the ones that you battle with, they ain't gonna beat you, you know what I'm saying? You, you good there, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, Rock went nuclear. And I don't think, it's not even that. Like, he would have had smoke for anybody when he in that bag that he was in right there. Like, what? Come on, son. Um, but yeah, I battle is definitely trending upwards, you know what I'm saying? I, I've been seeing some really good shit from them as of late, you know what I mean? You put the product out there, the product's gonna speak for itself, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes, like I said, some leagues will be like, oh, y'all don't talk about this, oh, y'all don't talk about that. It's like, yo, <clears throat> you ain't never gonna see a commercial on TV for weed, for crack, for dope. You ain't gonna see no commercials because crack gonna sell itself, dope gonna sell itself, unfortunately. Some shit that's fire is gonna sell it, so I ain't got to go looking for it. I stumbled across Rock vs. Feebo and I said, oh, let me watch it. I watched it and I'm recapping it, you know what I'm saying? So I think that a lot of people need to understand that as far as, uh, as far as with battle rap goes. And then there was another one yesterday. Shout out to my man Q-Dub, man, uh, Huila. He be, he be starting shit, man. This nigga, he, he's a wild nigga, man. I wanna, I wanna pull this nigga tweet up, yo. This nigga asked a question yesterday on Twitter, bro. This nigga said, uh, something about uh, if if there was no more bloggers, you know what I'm saying? Um, what, 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 where would battle rap go? <laughs> Bro, what the hell was you thinking about, man? This nigga was bugging with this shit, son. I'm trying to find it. I'm gonna try. I'm pulling it up right now, man. This nigga here is crazy. He asked, basically, what he was asking was if if niggas stopped blogging forever, what would what would happen with battle rap? You know what I'm saying? And let me go. I'm I'm pulling it up right now. <sighs> Walk with me, walk with me. Oh, he says, if all the bloggers said we done with battle rap, where would it leave the culture? Shit would die. Oh, man. Um, I was going to, you know, and I was going to reply to the tweet, but I was going to, um, I was like, fuck it, it's my man. So I just spoke about it right here very quick, and I think that y'all would understand, too. Uh, I think that battle rap would be the same. Like, it would be, it would be no difference because at the end of the day, 
uh, you remember, he remembered me from back in the days. A lot of us niggas do that remember from like Facebook groups and shit like that. It wasn't a lot of bloggers back then. You know what I'm saying? Like back before the blogging really became a thing, nobody was really doing that shit. When it, when 2011, 2012, 13, 14, it was nobody really there before the people who really started this shit. So I don't think it would change much because battle rap would go back to just being, but you know, I think a lot of people fuck with like their bloggers because it's like the news for them, you know what I'm saying? Like you can get all the news real quick from like one source or you, people watch multiple. But at the end of the day, it's not a it's not imperative, you know what I'm saying? Only thing and the thing is about blogging, like people ask me about the blogging shit all the time and I'll tell you it's good because you get to express yourself and you got a group of people that fuck with you and going to watch your shit, but it takes a it's a grind. Like, nigga, if you're going on vacation with your kids or your wife or your family and some shit pop off and battle rap, niggas want to hear about that shit now. They don't give a fuck about you, your son's birthday. They don't care about none of that shit, right? Because I was in Michigan last week and um, one of my cousins had passed. And I ain't really say nothing about it, but niggas is ringing my line, blowing me up about some fucking audio or from some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they want me to talk about it right now. And a lot of the time we don't really show feelings and emotions because you got to do what you got to do, you know what I'm saying? But it, it's it, it's going to be a lot. People, it's going to be a lot expected from you. And and they don't need, you don't have a regular life no more, you know what I'm saying? It's you're going to speak about this when we want to or you're compromised because you didn't. But I literally, one of my cousins, Renata, passed away and shit, rest in peace. And, you know, everything, we're going to be good. My family's good. Everybody's going to be straight and I don't really need nothing like that. But it just goes to say that the blogging shit, like if you do it and you get into it, they're gonna requ you're gonna be required at all times. Like you're like 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Nobody wanna hear nothing. If you ain't talking about that shit right then, they don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like literally, she passed. I got the news. It was this, and you know the family's doing the things that they need to do, and people is in my mentions. Oh, you. You compromise, you're not talking about it. Oh, you he got you under the wing. And I'm thinking to myself, when have I not always spoke about whatever the fuck I want to? But you want me to do it now. And then when I actually did it the next day, because I, you know, I got free again. When I did it, people were saying, oh, now you want to talk. It's crazy. So Q, uh, the blogging shit is cool. It pays, you know what I'm saying? It pays bills and shit. Because if it didn't, most, if most motherfuckers is doing it, wouldn't be doing it. If it wasn't paying bills, you know what I'm saying? So you got to be compensated for the bullshit you're going to go through. Because you're going to go through bullshit. Motherfuckers going to hate you. People that you never met before is not going to like you because you're doing something that they're not doing. So it has its benefits, but it definitely has a lot of headaches that most I don't explain. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't even said that my cousin had passed if... I wasn't using it in correspondence to what we was talking about today because nobody cares. It's just why you ain't talking about the audio today. Nobody gives a shit. See what I'm saying? So other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all. You already know what it is. Gang, gang. Yo, Feebo. You nice, my G's. But that rock, man. You, 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 it's rock, bro. It's me, bro. Gang. <laughs>